So to reintroduce myself, I'm Kim Holloman. I'm an interdisciplinary artist, and I try to combine art, architecture, and engineering to solve problems and to talk about our relationship to the environment. In 2005, I had an idea that for me was like a seed in that it was very, very, very small and simple. And once I exposed it to the light of day and I gave it nutrition, it sort of evolved and, and blossomed into something that I really didn't anticipate. And this idea was trailer park. Two words, trailer and park. <laughs> you can't get more simple than that. <laughs> and so I set about getting a trailer. And uh, I bought one off of eBay, one that was destined for the trash heap, I can assure you. And in using every single system that it already contained by myself from design to completion, I built a living mobile public park. And I utilized every single system that was contained within the trailer when I purchased it. And the reason why I built it by myself is because I wanted to show people what a single human being could do and with limited resources. When thinking about the environment, it became clear to me that some of the problems we're facing are so complex that the answers aren't going to be found right away with invention or even creation. And sometimes the answers are going to have to be found in translation. And I mean that literally, in the translation of the materials and the things that already exist around us. But I think what that really means is we have to transform ourselves and how we're thinking about these things. And I actually, I didn't quite create this project 100% alone. I had some very skilled and very loyal uh, Cooper Union School of Art interns that helped me get the project ready for its debut. And it debuted in 2006 at the Storefront for Art and Architecture on Lieutenant Petrosino Square under the auspices of the New York Parks Department Public Arts Program. And they were gracious enough to allow me into that program for that year. Since that time, it's been alive and thriving and on view essentially everywhere you can imagine, north, south, east, west, uptown, downtown, some of the most popular intersections in Manhattan, <laughs> as well as some of the most desolate places in Brooklyn. And everywhere I've gone, I've received overwhelming, overwhelming responses from the public, emotional responses from the public. Oftentimes, people want to in interact with it like a scientist or an urban farmer, and that's fantastic because you can do that, and that's how I designed it. But a lot of people I found were having deeper experiences sort of on a metaphysical level. And I'm so grateful that I was able to capture these responses, these passionate responses, in a project called The Guest Book, which is the guest book that travels around with the trailer park. I think it's like on volume five now. Uh, 15 different countries, multiple languages, haikus to the trailer, love letters to the trailer, um, treatises on our human condition, our relationship to nature. Everything that you can imagine is contained within these. Dear Park, I like you this way. I like you for who you are on the inside. <laughs> It's like I see less and less of you on the street. <laughs> I like the end. Maybe that's the secret. Disguise nature in plain sight. You know where we came from. Thank you for the reminder, Alex. I want to thank Alex, because I feel like he reminded me. This one stopped me dead on my tracks, and I've thought about it so many times. If every block on New York City had one of these, crime would go down. The thing that I forgot about, the thing that I hadn't really calculated, was the human response. And this project for me touched on something so much deeper than I ever anticipated. And that is a human truth that people require a connection to what they define as being beautiful, providing sustenance, and that which is alive. And that connection can heal you when you don't need it, and even more so when you really, really do. And I want you to bear that in mind when I show you this next slide. These are FEMA trailers. This is the only slide I'm going to show you. I think we've seen the other slides. They're depressing. They're upsetting. They're unhappy. To me, they're the exact opposite of this. And I want to focus on this. And to wrap it up, I want to draw it back to this idea of the seed. Because like, what is the dream of a seed? That it can go find fertile ground, that it can be nurtured by its environment, that it can grow strong and provide shade and shelter and sustenance the world over. And in the same way, I would like my idea to fly off and to find fertile ground and to be supported by its environment, raised up, so that it can provide connection, healing, shelter, sustenance, safety, security, and most of all, where it can create a sense of community where it's needed most. Thank you. Thank you.